Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, list out various ways in which TestNG can be invoked. Let me answer. There are several ways in which we can invoke the TestNG. Okay. But first of all, why we have to invoke TestNG to run the TestNG test? We have to invoke the TestNG. But what are the different ways in which we can invoke the TestNG to run the TestNG test? These are the different ways. Okay. First one is from ID. Whatever the ID editor you are using, it may be Eclipse ID, IntelliJ, or whatever it is, those IDs are going to provide you some options, some TestNG options using which you can invoke the TestNG. Okay. That's one way. Other way is with the help of Maven. Okay. So Maven from ID. Okay. Again, the Eclipse ID or IntelliJ, whatever ID you're using, that IDs are going to provide you some Maven options using which you can invoke testing. Or you can use a command line, okay? From command line with the help of Maven commands also, you can invoke testing. So I'm going to practically demonstrate how to do all this stuff to invoke the testing from the ID and using Maven in different ways, how to invoke the testing to run the testing test. So let's get started with the practical demonstration. For that, I'll switch to this uh, Eclipse ID where we have this project. And in this project, we have this uh, test class one, class two, class three has some individual tests using. There are three tests inside the class one. Test engine tests are there. In the class two, we have two test engine tests. In the class three, we have two test engine tests. Total three plus two plus two, seven tests. Test engine tests are there. If I want to run this test engine test uh, by invoking the test engine, one of the best ways uh, with the help of test engine.xml file, there are different ways. Eclipse ID will give you different ways to run these uh, things, okay? So when I, uh, either I can right click here, for example, I can right click on this class one dot Java, only the tests which are there in this class one dot Java, I would like to run. So to run the test engine test, I have to right click on this and say run as, and it will provide you test engine test. Okay. By default, Eclipse ID will not provide this option. In order to get this option, you have to install a plugin. Okay. I'll show you what plugin you have to install. Help Eclipse marketplace, go to the Eclipse marketplace and uh, in that search for test ng one plugin you have to install okay without that installing of that plugin test ng plugin in eclipse id that options are not going to come okay just uh here let's wait uh, uh now type test ng here press enter let's wait for the plugin to be displayed so without having the test ng plugin installed in eclipse id okay uh will not get any eclipse id options to invoke the test ng test okay this is a test ng for eclipse plugin you have to install so the process for installing is very simple. That plugin by default, Eclipse ID will not come with that plugin. You just have to go to the test ng dot uh, org. After going there, you just go to this uh, Eclipse page and in that installation, in that scroll down, uh, sorry, in, in, in that installation, uh, in that installation, after clicking on installation, you will see this install the plugin. Okay. So I'll repeat it again. First you go to test ng dot arch after that click on this eclipse in that installation in that installation you will see the install the plugin link click on that scroll down you will see this eclipse plugin and here you will find the instructions sorry here you will find the instructions okay you have to click on help install new software so in the eclipse id you have to click on help install new software after that enter the update url copy this and paste it here in a while, this test engine option will come, select this and install. Okay. Since it is already there, I'm not able to click on next, next and whatever the options it shows, try to install. So by default, Eclipse ID will not come with the test engine plugin. So we have to separately install and restart the Eclipse ID. And once the Eclipse ID is restarted, you will get some options related to test engine, test engine on this Eclipse ID editor. Like uh, here, you see, we are getting some test engine here. And uh, if you go to show view other. Here also, if you type a test and you will get this test and all these test and options are coming because we have installed the test and Eclipse ID plugin. Now, without that plugin installed, you will not get this, even this option also, right? click run as a uh, test and test. Now, if I want to run on, there are three classes here, but only the test and test, which are under this class only if I have to run right click, say run as test and test, I can select. Okay. It will run only this, uh, uh, test and test under this class. Okay. Using the Eclipse ID options, I am running using test and test and here, here are the results. Okay. So, but if I want to run all these three classes uh, containing the individual test methods all together, then 
we can use this strategy.xml file. So this file can be generated like this, right click, test ng, convert to test ng, and uh, click on finish. Yeah, this file will be generated. And right click on this file. From here also, you can right click, run as, you will get test ng suite option, okay? Earlier, when I'm running this individual class, I got test ng test option, but here I'm getting a different option that is run as test ng suite, okay? It will run all the tests inside all the classes mentioned in the test ng.xml file. You see, all the total seven out of seven got run. Here also you can right click run as test ng suite, okay? Anything is fine. So this is with the help of Eclipse ID options, we can invoke the test ng, okay? Or any in IntelliJ also, we have that kind of options. And next way is with the help of Maven, how to invoke this test ng to run the test ng test. I'm going to shoot. From the ID itself, we have the options, okay? We don't have to install like test ng plugin got installed, like, right? Like that we don't have to install Maven, okay? Maven comes by default in Eclipse ID. So you don't have to do much about Maven. So, so since it's coming by default, uh, simply do one thing, right click on the project, say run as, here you got an option known as a Maven test, okay? Maven is by default coming in Eclipse ID. This, with the help of Maven, I can run, invoke the test engine, okay? Run it and see what's happening. It is not going to work initially. I'm going to show you how to make it work, okay? How to make it work, I'm going to show you. Let it run. First of all, let it run. You see, none of the tests got run. You are not getting any results here, right? Uh, that uh, this particular print statement, nothing coming. That means it has not worked. It has run in none of this test ng tests. What's the problem here? One problem with this, uh, this uh, Maven, if you are invoking test ng tests with the help of Maven, right? Uh, you have to make sure that these class names are ending with the, uh, should contain a keyword known as test keyword. I generally prefer uh, writing the test keyword at the end. I'll right click on this class name and say refactor and rename and add the test keyword here, okay? So if the class names are not ending with test uh, or uh, doesn't contain the test keyword, Maven is not going to find it out, okay? So Maven will not uh, identify that as a test to run. So now, out of these three classes, I only mentioned test keyword in only one class. Only these three test methods inside this class are going to run, okay? Even though I'm trying to run all the three classes, okay? Even though with the help of Maven, uh, I would like to run all the test methods in all the classes, but they are not going to run because only one class name is mentioned with test uh, that has three test methods. So three out of seven test methods will run. Maven test, just see, only three tests will run. Earlier, zero tests got run. Now three tests are going to run. So let's wait. Uh, once I run it, you see, you'll get this kind of thing. The console, uh, it will, with the help of Maven, we are invoking the test engine test. This time, only three tests will run. Out of seven tests, three tests will run. You see, this time we got this test and three tests are running. So you can see here, how many tests got run? Only three tests got run, okay? That too from the class one test. From the class one test, three tests got run from class one test. What about class two and class three? They didn't get run because the problem with that is uh, their, their name is uh, doesn't contain the keyword known as test keyword. So again, I have to refactor here for every Every class, I have to mention test keyword somewhere in the name. I generally prefer uh, providing it at the end. Here also I'll add test. Now this time, all the total five out of, uh, seven out of seven tests will run. Seven out of uh, seven test ng tests will run. Let's see. So right click on the project, say run as, and say Maven test. Total seven tests will run. So it will start in a while after running. This time, total seven tests will run. Okay, total seven tests, we'll get the number as seven. You see, total seven tests got run, test run is seven. So that is one of the rule for the Maven to invoke the test ng test. There is one more rule also I didn't cover that, but it is already there when I created the project, right? It is already there, but you have to make sure whether that thing is there in your project or not. If not, Maven will not be able to run your test ng test. Okay, apart from having this test keyword in the class names, where the test methods, are, test, ng test methods are available, there's one more rule for Maven to run the test ng or to invoke the test ng. That is in the palm.xml file. When open the palm.xml file, there will be one section known as build. Under that build, you'll have plugin management. Under that, you'll have plugins. Make sure that you have this plugin in your machine. Okay. This particular plugin should be there in your machine. If you don't have this plugin, Maven should for plugin. Maven will not be able to invoke the test ng test. Okay. So you have to make sure this plugin section is there. Maven should for plugin is there. Okay. Those are the two rules having the name class name containing the test keyword, other one is the Maven Shurper plugin in the palm.xml file. 
These are the two ways. Okay. Now, so now the other thing is that I don't want to, you know, run like this. I don't want to give the name, uh, name, uh, this class names containing, you know, I'll just again refactor and remove the test keyword. I don't want the test keyword here. I don't want to mention the test keyword. Still, I want the Maven to run this, uh, all the tests under the, all the classes, even though the class names are not mentioned with the test keyword, still, I want to make the Maven to run this uh, test inside this, all the individual classes, so how that is possible. I'll tell you. So with the help of test XML file, we can do that. So I have to, re uh, I'm, I'm removing the test, uh, name, the test keyword from all these classes, but still, I want the Maven to run. But how that is possible is with the help of testingy.xml file, open the testingy.xml file and make sure all these classes with exact names are mentioned here. After that, I'll go to the palm.xml file. First, I'll make sure this, uh, okay. Uh, I'll go to the palm.xml file. I'll make sure whether Maven Shurfer plugin is there. Okay. Here, Maven Shurfer plugin is there. But here, this is the default Maven Shurfer plugin, which is not providing the path of the testingy.xml file. Okay. I'll make the Maven invoke the testingy.xml file and testingy.xml file invoke this uh, classes. That way we can solve the problem. How? So very simple here. So here, uh, instead of this uh, default Maven Shurfer plugin, I'll just Google search for uh, some plugin that is, uh, I'll simply write down Maven, Maven Shurfer test ng. Just search like this, okay? Three with this three code search and you'll get this link. And after going there, scroll down, you'll find this section a different type of plugin you will find. This is also Maven Shure plugin, but uh, here it is. Uh, it can be customized more where you can provide the place where testng.xml file is available in your project. Copy this plugin and go to your uh, palm.xml file and replace this default plugin with your own plugin. With that plugin, which uh, specifies the path of the here, suit xml file, we have specified the testng.xml file. Since this testng.xml file is directly available under the project, you can specify like this. But if in case the testng.xml file is not directly there in the project, if it is part of some packages and all, you have to provide the packages dot, you know, slash testng.xml file. Here, this is a path of the testng.xml file. Since in this case, the testng.xml file is directly under the project, we can directly provide the testng.xml file as a path here. This is working fine. This is a correct path only, okay? So what we are doing here is to this Maven Surefire sure plugin, Maven will take the help of the Maven Surefire sure plugin to run the test. And this Maven Surefire sure plugin is uh, di diverting the Maven to go and run the testng test with the help of testng.xml file by specifying the path of the testng.xml file here. Now testng.xml file, you know that uh, in the testng.xml file, we have specified all these classes containing the test method. So testng.xml file invoke the test methods inside this classes, specified classes. So Maven is invoking this testng.xml file with the help of Maven Surefire plugin and testng.xml file is invoking this. Now there is no need of specifying the test keyword in any of these classes. Now what I will do here is, uh, how to run this? Uh, so how to run this? Simple, again, right click on this project. Even though these class names are not mentioned with this, they have to run. Run as Maven test, let's see. So even though we have not specified the class names with this keyword and all, with the help of Maven Shurfer plugin, uh, the Maven is uh, getting get directed to go to testng.xml file and uh, from the testng.xml file, whatever the classes are mentioned, all the test methods in the classes are going to run. You see, still they are running, right? Total seven out of seven tests will run. Is another way, and uh, from command line also we can do without Eclipse ID. From command line also we can do Maven command line. That is the last way I'm going to cover in this session. That is Maven command line. How to do that? So right click on the project. Right click on the project. Uh, go to the location where this uh, project is available in your machine. Okay. So so simple. Where is that properties file? And uh, this is the location. Go to the location, go inside the project location. You can close this Eclipse ID and close this Eclipse ID. There's no need. Once you are at the project location, type CMD, type CMD. And uh, here we have to specify MVN test, MVN test command. Okay. So what happens at the project location, MVN test, Maven test command has to, will detect this uh, bomb.xml file and it will run it. But before that, Without Eclipse ID, we are doing from the command line, right? We have to make sure that in our machine, the Maven is configured, okay? So how? I'll tell you. Uh, maybe it's already there in my machine, but let me find it out. Edit, uh, I just need to type edit uh, system environment variables. Select this option and go to the location in my machine. 
this uh, advanced system properties advanced in that environment variables in the system variables may uh, just see whether you have maven underscore home anywhere here if it is not there it should be there okay uh, so how to make that possible how to make it possible so simple go here and say download maven download maven from command line this is the way download maven download apache maven click on this link it will take you here and here you have to find the uh, this file apache maven bin.zip file click on this once the zip file is downloaded this is in real time this is a, these are the ways we generally invoke test and gxml file okay test and gs these are the ways to invoke test and in real time either from eclipse id or intellij id options will do that with the help of uh, test and plugin or with the help of maven things we do that from eclipse id or intellij id or uh, with the help of maven from command line we can do that uh, for that we have to do some configuration before hitting this command here we have to make sure maven is configured in your machine so let the zip file download the zip file got downloaded uh, this uh, show in folder uh, simply extract all extract extract the zip file this particular zip file it will be it's getting extracted let's wait Okay, once it gets extracted, go inside this. And uh, these are the files. Uh, this is a folder you have to copy. Inside the extracted folder, you will get another folder. Copy this folder. Keep it anywhere in your machine where you can remember. Go to the C drive otherwise. And uh, here, see, it's already there. You see, I'll delete the older one and uh, paste the latest one. Control V. Okay, this is the latest one. So, where is that pasted? Yeah, here. This is the location. Copy this location. Copy this. And uh, in the edit system environment variables, uh, here, say new and say maven underscore home. Okay. Paste it. Say okay. And after that, find the path. Click on edit. And here you have to provide the maven uh, till bin folder. Okay. So go inside the bin folder of maven. Copy this path. And here, say new and paste it. Say okay. Say okay. And again, say OK. Now it is now configured in your machine. Now you can hit this command. Again, let's open the command prompt freshly. Uh, we have went through the project location, right? Uh, where is the project location? So uh, this is a project uh, location, I guess, where the palm.xml file is available. OK, this is a project location. Type CMD. And you'll get the command prompt. At this location, you type after configuring Maven in your machine after uh, downloading uh, and configuring maven in your machine type this command mvn test command press enter that's it it should work it should work maven will invoke the destiny.xml file because it will go and look for palm.xml file palm.xml file will there is maven sure for plugin in palm.xml file that will divert this maven to the destiny.xml file destiny.xml file has all the classes mentioned those classes will be invoked and those classes will invoke all the you see all the seven out of seven test got run okay done great so this is how we can, these are the different ways of invoking the test ng, okay? Either using the test ng options provided by ID, uh, that is Eclipse ID or IntelliJ, or by using the Maven from ID uh, or from the command line that I have just now shown you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.